a wise man once said. Master and Framer is just diving into new challenges every day and coming out a little less confused each time. Well, I think that's what he meant. Anyways, enough with all that chit chat. As you would guess it by the title of this video, or even my last video, after making Figma my little pet, it's time to face the giant, Framer. So the other day I got across this video on X, and yeah, that's our goal for this video. Well before starting, I'm not entirely reproducing this guy page, but just getting inspired by it. What I want to do is instead of placing random text and image, let's make a calendar for the gaming release of September and October that I was most excited about. So before starting, nothing too crazy, just making a basic page with 100 viewports and place a fake nav bar on top. And then we can start building the calendar. If you want to follow along, I will be displacing the measurements. Let's make a copy and put it aside. Now select your calendar and with Command-K create a component. I'll add a different color to each special date. Name them. And group them separately. Let's add a first variant and scale it until it covers the entire group and if there is a filled date on top. Just put its opacity at zero. Now let's draw some frame. Round them and fill the in white. Let's also create a back button. And put a background blur style. What I'm doing right now is group all the frame together beside the button, call this frame scroll.
Let's give it a little preview. First, let's link the button to the original variant. And then add a pure animation to each frame. Now select the scroll frame and by pressing K resize till to fill the variant. Now go to overflow and select scroll. Do the same for the main group. And if you want to hide the scroll bar, just go to style then scroll bar. Select each image and add a new event. Add an overlay to the main frame and add your image at the center and personalize it. For each image, go to show on and add the corresponding event name. Now do the Dane thing a few more times for each date.
and once you are done with the first calendar do it for the second and with a few more adjustment, in effect I ended up with something like this. Thank you.